I can tell you one thing that we have uh, very interesting data coming. Uh, I cannot disclose you uh, the results of the data uh, on big uh, uh, big uh, uh, calcium activated potassium channels, and uh, we studied uh, the headache eliciting uh, and the vascular effect of this uh, uh, medication. That uh, not the medication; it's a, it's a it's a compound which opens these uh, calcium activated potassium channels, big channels, uh, to see whether it can induce headache and migraine. So we are planning to, to present this data next year during the International Headache Society Congress. And uh, the rationale behind that is the following. In our human models of migraine, where we're trying to induce migraine attacks, we usually use uh, vasodilators and particular molecules or neuropeptides, which are able to provoke migraine attacks. The provocation rate varies, but it is about something like 60% of the patients. When you give them this particular pharmacological trigger, they report migraine attacks. Which is, what is remarkable is that the 30 to 40% of the patients not responding with a migraine, uh, uh, why they are not responding with a migraine, and are they different from the migraine patients who report attacks after the infusion of the different peptides, for example, PACAP or CGRP. Since these molecules work on the cell surface uh, acting on receptors, we thought that targeting the downstream mechanisms will increase the induction rate. And in fact, we have shown now uh, some years ago that drugs acting inside the cell, targeting the intracellular mechanisms, they can induce more migraine in migraine patients. And the induction rate goes up to uh, 80% of the patients. And recently, we did with a KTP channel opener, which is another uh, uh, channel, important channel in the downstream mechanism. And using this particular compound, we were able to induce migraine in 100% of the patients. We published this paper in Brain, and uh, this is a, one of the major uh, um, uh, results that uh, I had in, in my career, I would say. And uh, these also uh, open up whole area of targeting channels in migraine. And that's why we moved to the, these large or big conductance uh, calcium activated potassium channel. And the reason for that is that you imagine that it is just parallel to this KTP channel, which is producing migraine in 100% of patients. And now we're trying to target uh, the, the, the big. Uh, uh, calcium potassium channel to see whether we can also get the same induction rate like we get it with the KTP channel. And the consequences of that will be that if we can in the future develop some drugs selectively acting on the selective sites in the trigeminal vascular system, we may have a potential novel anti-migraine target with a higher efficacy. So this is a, let's say, future, uh, and it will show whether we are right or wrong. Uh, 